everyone, I am your produce guy and today's subject is acorn or table queen squash, one of our winter squashes. We're going to do a real simple preparation on this squash today. I'm going to cut it in half, fill the center with some brown sugar and butter and bake it off. So let's get started. The challenge with these winter squash is they have a hard skin. Sometimes they can be tough to open. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take an old rag, a uh, towel here. Do not use a good kitchen towel. You'll get yourself in trouble. Don't ask me how I know that. And then a nice sharp knife. This is the largest knife that I've got in my set here in the kitchen. And we're going to take this knife, nice and sharp, and just kind of rock it back and forth like that. And then right on through. There it is. Done. See the stem on that was uh, was removed so it had a nice uh, nice round spot that it set on uh, was steady there. We're going to pull these seeds out now. That's the next thing to be done. Now these seeds you can roast these up just like you do pumpkin seeds. In fact, uh, take a look at our pumpkin seed video. If you're making several of these, you're having company or you have a large family and you're making two or three or four of these, you'll have plenty of seeds to go ahead and roast. Now that we've got all the seeds cleaned out of the seed cavity there, next operation is to take just a regular kitchen fork and poke holes in this deal. The holes will allow the butter and brown sugar to get down in there a little bit. Okay, I've got them all poked up here now. Just one, uh, one note, the bottom is the flesh is a little bit thinner than the top, so be careful not to poke through. You don't want to poke through the skin because we're going to put some good stuff in now. Next, let's put in our butter. About a tablespoon of butter. And I always say with butter, be generous. So you can see that going in. And then two tablespoons of brown sugar. Oh boy. Just like that. There we go. Okay. And you can add some maple syrup to this too, uh, if you like the taste of maple. These are going to go in a baking dish and into the oven, 400 degrees for about an hour and 20 minutes. Well, here's our finished product. I took these out of the oven after an hour and 15 minutes, a little bit shorter than what I told you to begin with, but these guys were done. They're on the smaller side, these squash, so they didn't need as long to cook. And I've actually let them cool off just a little bit here so I can handle them. Now, uh, you could set these in a bowl and let people scoop out their own. You see that brown sugar and butter all melted in there and the, uh, the top all roasted off there looking delicious. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape these out of the shell into a bowl and we'll make individual servings after mixing the squash with the butter and brown sugar. Right, we've got all the, uh, the squash separated from the skin there in here mixed together now with the uh, butter and brown sugar. You know, one, one other item you might want to add to this, a little bit of salt would be great with this. But let's dish up and see what we've got here. Oh, that looks great. Oh, that's terrific. Smooth, sweet, could almost be a dessert. Ah, that's wonderful. Now you can adjust that butter and brown sugar to your liking. A little less sugar if you don't have as much of a sweet tooth like a produce guy. Or a little bit more if you have an extra sweet tooth. Experiment with it and see what you like. This is a great use of winter squash, especially our acorn or table queen squash. Easy to prepare, a little time spent in cooking it, but uh, hardly any preparation time for you and it turns out a wonderful little side dish. Thank you so much for being with us and watching. Remember for weekly updates subscribe and if you haven't joined us on Facebook yet, why not? Thanks very much. Good to be with you and as always, 
Fresh is best.